Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday. Today we're doing another haul video. I'm really really excited to film this video today because I have been holding on to these items for listen like about two months now I would say. I was waiting for some of the items to arrive and a couple of them arrived a little bit late so I had to wait to film the video and there were one or two things that I wanted to use. So what I have done is I have actually opened the items, looked at them, gotten a little bit of a vibe for how they fit on and just what I think of them. So when I'm speaking to you guys you get like a well-rounded opinion of what I think of the items. Today we're going to be reviewing Rose Girl again. You guys know that I have reviewed some of their stuff a couple of times before if you haven't seen those videos already I will link them up here and down below in the description if you want to check them out I have tested out quite a bunch of different things from their site and recently I've decided that in order to really get like a vibe for a website I need to be trying a bunch of their things so not just clothes and the safe items testing out a couple of things from the homeware section shoes a little bit more out there clothing items so that i can really see what it is that we're going to be getting so you guys are going to be able to tell that from today's video we have got quite a mix so i was trying to decide if i thought that i would start with homeware stuff or clothes all of the items are down here i think that i'll start with one accessory clothes and then do the home pieces so the items in today's video have kindly been sent to me by rose gal so everything that you see today here is gifted thank you very much to them for sending me these items i love working with them and let's get into the video the first item is something that i actually already own in a different color it's something that i really really like and that i use all the time so i actually had that item with me and it's bag and when i had it my aunt said that she really liked it so i basically ordered her one they didn't have the same size so i just ordered her one in a different color so this one is red and i really really like it too this is how the bag looks ah, i think it's so so pretty i really really love the details of this bag the best thing about the bag is honestly the amount of compartments that it has I will literally just open up this up for you guys to have um, a little look. Okay, it's kind of got the tissue paper in. But basically, it's got the middle section and then it's got two other sections that are both... What do you call these things? Have poppers on them. And then two other compartments in the middle of compartments. So, it's amazing for keeping things in. At the back, it's just got a little zipper. And yes, that is extra space. So, this is for her. Um, I need to give it to her because it's like a hell of a delayed um, as... A gift so this is what the bag looks like and if you're looking for something like this i would definitely recommend looking on rose girl for bags um i think that they're really good quality and i just really really rate them i will link everything down in the description for you guys i'm quite bad at giving you prices and stuff let me just let me just try and actually be good at this for once in my entire life so the price of that bag is 33 us dollars and that's everything. I don't know if they have those in stock anymore. So I'm going to go into clothing items next. You guys are going to be really disappointed in me because I haven't bothered to lace this thing up. So if it's something that has like a lacing detail, you'll often have to do it yourself. And like just keeping it real, it takes me about like five hours to lace anything up. I'm literally useless at doing this. I don't know what it is. I look at the image, I do it, but sometimes just doesn't always feel right so I haven't done that yet but I will do it for the try on clip this is essentially how the item looks it is a bodysuit it's velvet and it's a nice red color and then it clips up the bottom and then at the back is where the detail would go with the lacing now usually with these I find that they can be really tight around the crotch and that about a size medium fits for me because I don't have the smallest boobs or the, the smallest bum. Like So basically, I have like medium sized boobs, a fairly big bum, and I need like a medium size. So I ordered a medium, but this is definitely way too big for me. So if you didn't want to order something like this, I would recommend sizing down. So essentially, the problem is that there's too much fabric in like the in the waist area um i don't know there might be a way for me to try and fix it and like just pull it in like kind of make a plan with it not show the bottom so have it a little bit more cropped 
And then this is just the lace. It's just the same material as this. That'll get laced through here. I think it'll be a lot easier for me to show this to you guys on. But I was really sad about this because I just think it would look so nice on a night out. The material looks like really nice on camera and I think it would look amazing photos. But it isn't the right size for me. So I'm going to try it and see what I can do with the item knowing that I am really shoddy at sewing. Crap at altering anything. Don't even get anyone else to alter it because I'm a lazy ass biatch. So often just end up holding on to it. Probably best for me to sell it or give it to somebody else. But we'll try it. We'll see what we can do. It is a nice item. The price of it was... Okay, so this was $11.56. $11.56. $11 $11.56, whatever, nearly $12, and I think, like, it's not 100% what I was expecting, I think I expected something a little bit a better quality, but then looking at the price, I don't know why, um, that's really, really cheap for what it is, but if I'd gotten it in a size small, I do think I would have liked it a lot more. Okay, so I would really l have liked the vibe of this, like, I love the colour, it's so nice, I'm obsessed with the colour, I've just teamed it up with some black high-waisted jeans and then this is the crisscross at the back i've just tucked it in basically i kind of got it wrong even though it is i would like it to be tighter here the main issue is the length of the crotch it's literally like this long it just wasn't really working for me and then at the top here it's really pretty but there's just like a little what would you call it it's the metal inside the bodice thing that they've tried to do that is pushing out there you can see it more where it should be in like this um it's kind of pushing out i do like it i just it it doesn't look expensive like it, it it looks cheap like in a photo you could get away with it but in real life it's not great so i don't think that i would be wearing or keep this item despite the fact that i like it it's just it looks fine now but um underneath it's very very long and yeah the quality is not amazing but i am sad about it and i do think in a smaller size i would have been a lot happier with it so yeah if you can hear beats in the background, it's my thing, Deep House, that he likes to listen to when he's cleaning. I hope you guys can't really hear like a loud sound, but I have my heating on because it was quite cold inside today. It's like 45 kilometers of wind outside. This next item is a bit of a weird one. I think I ordered it because I was skeptical and I didn't really know what the fabric is gonna be like and I was right. So basically, it is this black, long skirt and it has a belt which is not strapped up right now essentially it's got like a little buckle and then these little silver buckle hole details this is what kind of drew me to the belt i thought if this was high waisted nice and tight around the waist i could style it up quite nicely for work and i feel like it would just be an item that would be really really comfortable what i didn't realize is that it is literally made out of like a thick felt is felt a word for people that aren't from South Africa? I don't know. I think it might be. If it isn't, I'll leave an alternative. But it's like a felt material. It's literally like a blanket. And then on the inside, it isn't, which I prefer because I don't really like that texture on me. The thing that I found now is that it's so chunky for what it is. Like, there's so much material that it almost looks matronly. So when I tried it on, it was comfortable. It fit right. Everything like that was good about the item. It's not bad quality. I just don't particularly love this material. I think it's a bit chunky and I found it really difficult to style it for my body because I am 5'3". So the length of it when it isn't a slightly less material is just not really that flattering in my opinion. So I will show you in the try on if I pull in some of the frills on the sides where it's like quite chunky out. It looks a lot more flattering and just like a better item um with the way that it is now it just feels a little bit old school and just it's making me feel okay a lot older than i am when i wear it like i don't hate it it feels soft and it's really warm on i just don't see myself wearing it because i don't feel confident in it and whenever i don't feel confident in something and i try and say okay i'll try style it i'll try to do this it's just i don't wear it so i don't think i'm going to be keeping this one it was 18 dollars 18 US dollars and i got it in a size small which was the right size for me 
The next item is something that I do actually really like. I think that it's really pretty and I can definitely see myself wearing it. I was thinking of taking it to my holiday um, to South Africa when I go back. So it is basically this red lace sleeve with like a little bell cuff play suit and then it ties in the center around the boob area into like a little bow or whatever how you want to tie it and then it goes in in the middle and then it's got these little frill shorts i think that this is a really flattering cut on a lot of people i just think that it makes you look nice and slim and trim and i really liked the fun like lace detailing of the arms I love to wear red when I go out, especially with a tan. I think that this would be well suited to like a little pair of wedges or something. The only thing is that I ordered this in a medium. Again, I was skeptical about the rise and the crutch. Um, I think I would rather have it a little bit oversized than a little bit too small. Because when something is a little bit too small, I think it can look good but feel really uncomfortable. And I just don't like feeling uncomfortable when I'm out. So it is a little bit big for me. I would say mostly in like... The part where it ties, um, you'll be able to see on the trial on what I mean, but this is still fine. And I would actually order this item again in a small in different colors. They had white, they had black. I think they might have had a green. I think they had at least one other color. Um, I'm really tempted to order the white one. I just think that that would look really pretty um, with a tan like on holiday. So I am happy with this one. I do wish I'd gotten a different size, but I think it could have been a lot worse. And the price of that item was 23 US dollars. So that is one of the more expensive items that I've ordered so far. So you can see the difference in quality when you're spending a little bit more. You kind of expect what you spend. Okay, listen, we're going to move on to an item that uh, is not what I expected. It's not how it looks online and it is ill-fitting in my opinion. So... Can I load the image? Let me just try and load this image for you guys so that you can really see what I mean. Okay, I can't load the image right now. It's just taking me straight to the website. But I will leave an image on the screen here of what the model looked like wearing this pair of jeans. And then we're going to see how it looks on me. So, these are the jeans. They just got these ribs. They're light blue. They've got this open part on the leg, which I really like. Um, I like the color of the jeans. They're a nice wash. They look like they would be the right size. And what size did I get them in? Eee, medium. And they look like they'd be all good. Um, I, when I saw them, I was like, this is not exactly what I ordered, but whatever, this will be totally fine. Totally not fine. Totally cannot fit me. At the bottom of the legs, it's the most unusual thing. It's like almost too big on top, if I recall. And then at the bottom, and this is partly due something is really itching me over here like a little fur this is partly due to the fact that i do have larger calves in proportion to my body so my legs are quite short and i don't have a problem with my calves at all but they there is a lot of calf so a lot of things like around the ankle don't always fit me right but this is just for a medium it is too tight like it's just it's not fitted well and it doesn't fit me right here so it's a little bit too big way too small at the bottom and I was really sad about that because I think that these could have looked really cute and you could have styled them up to look more expensive than they are and it would have just been a nice extra pair of jeans to have. Um, I love wearing jeans out with heels like in the springtime when it's not necessarily like that hot yet but it's not like raining outside. So I was sad about these um, and it was the first time I've tried jeans from Rose Girl. I would try and like order jeans from there again just to test it out but i wouldn't really have high expectations so these were 19 dollars 64 so again not like significantly a lot of money but also not the cheapest jeans ever like i would wear rather get some jeans from primark that actually fitted me well primark jeans are actually very very good a dupe for the journey top shop journey jean you can get at primark I think so I wasn't actually really gonna talk in the try part but I actually managed to get the jeans on which I couldn't previously do it was a bloody struggle I had to like rip these more than they're already ripped in order to get them on and like on my actual calf area here I don't know if you guys can see well but it's literally so tight so in no way easy to get on or comfortable but <clears throat> at least they're on and they do still look fine um, they're a little bit lower down than I would want here. And then at the back, 
they're just like they're gaping a bit so I would really want them to sit a little bit higher but I will wear them with a belt so they won't be high waisted but I think it'll go quite nicely with a t-shirt maybe a little bit longer than this one if you didn't want to show any midriff and I would still wear these um, they are hard to get on literally it's so tight on here but if your calves are a little bit smaller than mine you'll have no issues um so yeah i'm actually surprised that i got them on and a little bit happier with them but i still stand true to the fact that i think that they are generally not like well sized and they definitely aren't high-waisted now this is something that i really really like and that i have actually worn before and hence why it's inside out <laughs> excuse me give me one second what the fuck how do you work oh, okay i'm so used to this guys i should probably Okay, wait, let me just button this up because if I don't, it's going to be a lot harder to demo how the item works. Here we go. Eh. I can hear Mike is making lunch and I'm actually quite hungry. <sighs> Wish you guys could watch the video straight away. Maybe I should do a live so that you guys can tell me what to have lunch. I don't know what I feel like. La la! This is a really adorable snake print shirt. So it's just like a tan kind of a snake print color, which I really like because... Okay, I do own a lot of snake print. I really do like snake print, but everything that I own is snake print, pretty much everything except for shoes, is gray. So this is a little bit of a different shade. It's nice, like, sandy tan color. And then it is cropped. So at the bottom here, it's got, like, a little band. And then it's got these two little buttons, which you'll be able to see better on the try-on. And then it's open here. This is not the shirt that you would wear to work, in my opinion, unless you had a top on underneath. And maybe, like, you would definitely need something high-rise because it comes up a little bit higher than you would think here. Like, this is just below the bust area. Um, but I really like this. How did I style it when I wore it? Come back here. When I wore this, I styled it with high-waisted black jeans from H&M. I'll try and link a similar pair down below for you guys with like a little crisscross detail on the side. I thought that was quite fun. And then I just wore it with high, knee-high, flat black boots and like a furry coat. I really liked that look. I think this is a nice item that is like in between being like going out vibes and like chill dinner. So you can dress it up or down depending on your vibe. Like you could wear this with a nice pair of high-waisted black leather shorts. I really want to get some. So if you guys know where is good, I couldn't even English that. Pitch your girl up. I have seen some on Zaffle um, that I was considering getting and on ASOS, but if you have any recommendations, let me know. But back to the point, this is a really nice item. I was really, really happy with that. I think I got it in a size small. Um, oh no, I got a medium, size medium. I was happy with that size. And it was $14. So I think that's a really, really good price. I think $14 is like 10 pounds. Um, and I really like it and I definitely can see myself wearing it I'm seeing quite a lot that one of the issues is that I order things in the wrong size So because a lot of the styles is not something that I've ever tried I get something that is a little bit too big So from now on I kind of know that I am generally speaking a size small And when it comes to like jeans and trousers I'm probably a size medium or apparently I don't fit into a medium um, But so that's generally about the sizes so this is in a size M as well, and I think I would have preferred a small. But I do actually really like this, and I can still see myself wearing it. I just need to work out how to style it, and I want to, like, hoist it in a little bit more. It's really long, so it might be a little bit hard to show you on camera, but we can all do our best over here. <laughs> Woo! It is a black ruffle sleeve. No, it's not black. Am I colorblind? It's navy ruffle sleeve pinstripe jumpsuit there's the one it's really cute it goes down into like kind of a circled little v-cut and then the legs are super super long and like these flowy legs at the bottom like a culotte style i just felt like i wanted something like this for work in the springtime uh, which is really easy to chuck on and looks like you've put a little bit more effort into your outfit than you have then it comes with this little like belt thing all it is is like a tie around belt i will show you on the try on how this looks i think it's quite long on me at the bottom so i will probably pair this with like a little heel nothing outrageous just like a small little heel it was ever so slightly too big for me so i would have liked it to maybe have been a little bit smaller in the top area 
and I don't know if the frills really suit me. You guys can let me know in the comments. I'm um, not always like a frill kind of a girl. It depends on what the item is, um, but you can let me know what you guys think. I do think this is a nice quality. It's a quite like a synthetic material but it doesn't feel bad i felt way way worse and i think when it's on it'll feel nice and light and airy i nearly said aries aries i love uh star signs if any of you guys are into star signs let me know what your star sign is in the comment section yeah comment section so yeah that was in a size medium and it was 23 us dollars so that was the last of the clothing items then I ordered a bunch of things from the homeware section, mostly or all, all from kitchenware. How random is that? I know. But I was like, kept on seeing so much of it and I was like, I need a couple of new pieces for my kitchen. So, you know what? I'm going to test it out. Fun story that I actually think that this got like marked in customs for not being compliant like being a weapon because it's really sharp and it came from Asia somewhere. So yeah, that happened. Um, I was thinking, why is it marked like that? But then I kind of realized. I'll show you the item that got, I think got flagged. <laughs> I needed one of these, so I was like, yeah, whatever. We're gonna test it out. Ah, it's a pizza cutter. It's still in a little bag. Shit, this is a weapon of mass destruction, so I need to be careful. I wasn't expecting anything to be like amazing quality. The blade does seem like, it's not the most rigid like blade I've ever seen in my life. I imagine that this could be tighter. Ah! Why would I do that? I don't want to taste like it's sharpness. Oh, oh hello. Hello, I can see myself a mirror. Pizza cutter. Um, it's annoying me that it's not like completely tight. I wanted to say fuss because that's just such a good word to explain it. But I want it to be like nice and tight so it doesn't roll around. This will definitely still cut pizza. Like the blade looks quite sharp. Say hello to Sandra, the ring light. And let's see how much this guy was. Hello. Two US dollars. So for the price that I paid, you're getting exactly what you paid for. And I mean, I'll probably still cut some pizza with that. What? I think that the pizza cutter drove my camera insane. Did the light change? Next thing that I got is a whisk. Um, I wanted to say an egg beater, but that's a little bit too specific. I got myself a young whisk and we don't have one in the house, which we kind of realized when I was trying to bake unsuccessfully the other day. So I ordered one of these. Chuk, 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 chuk. It's literally nothing crazy, pretty simple. The same kind of a quality that I would expect to get from Ikea, but it's exactly the kind of thing I would need. I'm not gonna beat the shit out of my eggs. I'm just gonna lightly probably whisk them. And this was two US dollars 39, so a little easy still. And definitely can see that we will use these items and if they're dead, you know, you can just replace them. They're really, really affordable. What is happening? Can you guys talk to me and tell me, Sandra, huh? Okay, I think the silver colors, I've ne never really put like a lot of silver in front of my camera. The silver colors have like messed with the lighting. I think this could be the last home item that I got and then that's the last item of the video. So I got myself a, a they call it, a dark gray, dark gray, lol. A dark gray spaghetti server. And this was three US dollars 48 and that is exactly what it is. It's a pasta server because we were had some guests over the other day and we wanted to serve a pasta and we realized that we didn't really have like anything that would do it except for a fork, which I didn't really vibe that. Um, I wanted to have something more like I'm an adult. Welcome to my professional household of chefing. And this is how it looks. Um, I think it's quite cute. I was not mad at this at all. It feels like really rigid. This is like a rubber texture, which I quite, what? Which I quite like. Um, I just think that it'll be like quite a sturdy little thing. And then this like wooden kind of a handle. This is the kind of wood that you feel on like a rolling pin. Just like not incredible quality, but absolutely nothing wrong with it. Like, I'm sorry, but for the price, this is like perfect. And this is kind of the color that I have a lot of things in my house. This kind of a dark gray. So it's really cute. Like there's a lot of gray and like, what do you call it? Like eggshell gray in my 
room and in my kitchen so that's kind of the theme so i didn't like it actually this wooden color is also everywhere this is like the perfect spaghetti server biatch apparently that's what i should have for lunch obviously look at me oh basically my options for lunch include spaghetti or pizza i was fucking scared that this was gonna like fly off into my eye <laughs> that's a good oh my god it's national babe it's national pizza day yeah what's for dinner bub i don't want to no bub it's national pizza day what's for dinner pizza pizza and a film so everyone, those are all of the items that I picked up from Rose Girl. What did you think? Let me know down in the comments what your favorite item was, what you thought of the video, if you've ever tried anything from Rose Girl before. I had like mixed opinions. I feel like some of the items are really good and some of them are not as good. I definitely can see from all of the videos that I filmed from Rose Girl that you get what you pay for. So if you pay that little bit more with something like the bag, the quality is just that much better. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this style of video and if you'd want to see similar ones where I test out a bunch of random things from a website. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe to join the Sab Fam and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Until next time, love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye!